Have you ever started taking an antibiotic and stopped as soon as you felt better? If so, you've made one of the most dangerous and common mistakes in modern medicine. Stopping an antibiotic too soon is like sending half your army to war and calling them back in the middle of the battle. The infection seems to improve, but inside, the strongest bacteria are still alive, waiting, adapting, and when they come back, they come back stronger, more resistant, harder to kill. That's how superbugs are born, bacteria that no longer respond to traditional antibiotics. And in this scenario, no hospital, no doctor, no ICU can save you. Think that's an exaggeration? In 2019 alone, 1.27 million deaths worldwide were directly linked to antibiotic resistance. And the most common cause? Incorrect use of antibiotics. What many people don't realize is that antibiotics are not painkillers. They don't just relieve symptoms, they kill bacteria. And to work, they must be taken on time for the full number of days prescribed, even if you feel 100% better. Because feeling better doesn't mean the infection is gone. It just means the bacteria population has dropped. If you stop now, the survivors come back with a vengeance. Another common mistake, using leftover antibiotics from a past infection, without knowing if the new illness is even bacterial, without checking if the drug is still good, without confirming the correct dose, and worse, giving it to children or elderly family members based on what worked for someone else. That's a recipe for disaster. Wrong bug, wrong drug, wrong dose, the treatment fails. And when you finally see a doctor, the infection has already gotten worse. So, what's the right approach? First, never start an antibiotic without medical supervision. Only a healthcare professional can tell if you really need it. Second, follow the exact timing and dosage as prescribed. Antibiotics aren't optional, they're rules. Every missed dose weakens the effectiveness of your treatment. Third, don't keep leftover antibiotics at home. It encourages misuse. Instead, dispose of them properly at a pharmacy. And now I want to ask you, have you ever made one of these mistakes? Be honest. No shame, just awareness. Comment below and let me know. And if this video opened your eyes, share it. Send it to someone who might be making the same mistake right now. You could be saving a life. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and stay with us. Because pharmacology saves lives, and it starts with you.